Hi, Lucas and Leia. I'm reading you a Dr. Seuss book today called A Whale of a Tale, all about porpoises, dolphins, and whales. Let's start. By Bonnie Worth, A Whale of a Tale. What's the story today? Funny that you would ask. We're going to take on a whale of a task to learn about whales and their smaller relations, porpoises and dolphins, the group called cetaceans. So please hang on tight. We lower down toward the boat that we soon will be sailing aboard. One very large boat, the best in the nation, Captain McAllegott's Cetacean Station. Like monkeys and donkeys and dogs, cats and camels, whales, porpoises and dolphins are all kinds of mammals. Cetaceans might look like the fish in the sea, but cetaceans are closer to you and to me. They are warm-blooded like me, but with fins and no legs. They give birth to live babies and do not lay eggs. Fish breathe through gills like that over there. See, that's a fish. Breathe through gills and lays eggs. But cetaceans, blow holes like noses, breathe air. See, cetaceans have blow holes and they breathe air and they have babies, not eggs. Land mammals have bodies all covered with hairs. Cetaceans have just a few spare hairs on theirs. Our hair keeps us warm, but their fat does the trick. Something, sometimes, like a mattress, it's two whole feet thick. Look, look at the fat. That's called blubber. Another big difference between whales and fish, thing one and thing two can explain if you wish. Fish flap their tails side to side when they go. See the fish, they flap their tail from side to side. But whales flip theirs upward and downwards like so. Upwards and downwards like so. <laughs> Some cetaceans catch food with their teeth in their head. Others use something called baleen instead. See, that's teeth and that's baleen. And look, they like to have krill. Baleen grows in rows and forms sort of a grill for straining the tiny sea creatures called krill. But toothed or baleen, cetaceans don't chew they swallow food whole, that's all that they do. See, that's a spotted dolphin, a golf porpoise, a killer whale or orca, and a sperm whale. Some whales even swallow some things by mistake, a bucket, a boat, or a big rubber snake. Most cetaceans we know like to go swim in a troop. A pod is the name that we give to this group. If danger is near, they will sound an alert to keep their young safe and help those who are hurt. Because it is smallish, the porpoise is shy. It swims near the shore and does not leap up high. Only doll's porpoise swims out in the sea. 30 miles an hour, the porpoise is speedy. We can all play a game, so let's make a start. Porpoise or dolphin, who can tell them apart? Porpoise teeth are flat. Dolphins are cones. Porpoise noses are shorter with delicate bones. Porpoise or dolphin, it's easy to spot. Dolphins' noses are long, but porpoises are not. See, that's a spotted dolphin. That's a finless porpoise. See the short nose? And that is a speckled porpoise, see the short nose? And that is a common dolphin, look at the long nose. And the bottle nose dolphin, look at the long nose. Of, of dolphins, there are about 35 types. Some dolphins have patches and others have stripes. This is Riso's dolphin. This is Fraser's dolphin. This is short beaked common dolphin. These markings are really a very good way of hiding the dolphins as they hunt their prey. The smallest is five feet from its nose to its tail. The largest is orca or the killer whale. 
See, that's Orca. And that's Hector's Dolphin, the small one. Bottle Nose leaps forward as neat as you please. The Dusky leaps backwards and does it with ease. See the Bottle Nose and the Dusky. The one we call Spinner, McGalligut Nose, spins around in the air like a top the guy, this guy goes. And sometimes the Spinner will come to a stop and peer, peer out of the water. It's called a Spy Hop. Sorry, Spy Hop. Yeah. This humpback is one very odd looking mammal. Its back has a hump like the land living camel. This is the Indo Pacific humpback dolphin. This dolphin's a bottle, and what would you think if I told you the bottle has skin that is pink? The dolphin has a way of looking around by forming a picture that's made out of sound. It sends out a sound at a high, steady rate. The sound bouncing back makes its jawbone vibrate. See, so sends an outgoing signal, and then you hear they hear coming, returning echoes. It's called echolation, echolocation. Echolocation is the word that we call the underwater way that dolphins see all. Now, most dolphins could win mummy of the year they care for their young and keep them quite near when dolphins are born a nurse dolphin is there to bring baby up to breathe in its first air and when mom goes to hunt why this thoughtful critter leaves baby behind with the babysitter i bet you are thinking hey what about whales the biggest come last oh that trick never fails. Whales, as a rule, like to stay on the move, as all of our studies can easily prove. In tropical seas, in the winter, they breed. In the summer, they swim toward the poles to feed. See? They swim to the poles. And they swim down south. Some scientists tag whales with sensors or plates to study their habits, their lives, and their traits. Traits. The sperm whale can dive down one mile or more. Its rich blood and muscles are made to the made up or up to the chore. A cave in its head that's the size of a jeep weighs down the whale's body and helps it sink deep. See the sperm whale. It has a cave in its head. Some whales we have found have teeth much more like beaks. They live far from the land, but we've had a few peaks. This is Beard's beaked whale. This is Cuvier's beaked whale. And this is Blainville's beaked whale. The narwhale's long tooth is a tusk. As you can see, look at the narwhale. It might work as a sod or an ice pick, maybe. One day you might hear a big and loud splash. A whale has leaped up and come down with a crash. We call this act breaching. And no person, not one, knows why the whales do this, perhaps just for fun. The best breaches of all are those are these whales, they say, humpback and sperm, right whale and grey. See, it's a grey whale, a humpback whale, and the sperm whale. And these are called right whales. Look, this is when they jump out of the water, it's called breaching. The ocean is loud with the sounds of the whales talking. They're clicking and groaning and moaning and squawking. Why is it whales talk to communicate? Who, what, why, and where, and if they will be late? The humpback's sweet song won McGallagot's heart. It even showed up on the top on the pop music chart. Look, the wheels can make sounds underwater. Dick and Sally all sat. Oh, this will be a blast. Here comes the blue whale, the biggest come last. The blue whale is big, and for what it is worth, it's the biggest thing living in sea or on earth. The blue whale is big, yes indeed. And what's more, bigger still than the big, 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 biggest dinosaur. 
See, the blue whale is bigger than the biggest dinosaur. The story of the porpoise, the dolphin, and the whale, you have to admit, is a whale of a tail. The end. Wow, that is a nice book about porpoises, dolphins, and whales. Did you like that? Well, you can listen to it again. I love you, Lucas. I love you, Leia. Goodbye.